As the lead runners come home, the rest of the pack is still spread out across the bay.
Finishes finish to be greeted by friends and families, some happier than others. The run across the bay was a great success, and a lot of money was raised for cancer care. Can you tell me where you've come from? Hi, in Cheshire. And how did you find the run? How did I find the run? <laughs> I enjoyed it actually, yes. They yeah. wanted to come out to be a lot longer than they thought. Yeah, I think it was longer than half a marathon. And did, did you find it was windy out there? Uh, it, some places, yeah. It was blowing in our faces, blowing us back, yeah, it made it more difficult. Where are you from? From Kendall. All oh, right, not so far then. Not so far, no, just from <laughs> Have you done the run before? I haven't, no. And how did you find no, it? It's fabulous, it's like really good, yeah. And really what good. about crossing the two rivers? <laughs> Amazing, yeah. It was uh, the day you couldn't run across the Kent, that was like, yeah, over my knees. It was great, it was really good. Well, how far have you come from today? Uh, Houston, near Harrogate. Oh, quite a way then. Yeah, yeah. Have you done the run before? Did it last year, and I did it about four years ago when we had to turn back because the channel was too poor. Right, now was the channel this time? It was okay, it was very wide. It was 200 yards wide and uh, above your knees, so you, yeah. you couldn't just wade through it. You had to lift your legs out, you know, and, 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 and push through. Yeah, it's kind of prance like an idiot. Right, where have you come from today? Uh, Travelled from Nottingham. Quite a way then. Yeah, it stayed overnight in Morecambe actually, so we travelled up yesterday. Right, and have you done the run before? I ran it last year. And how did this year compare to last year? Um, it was quite a bit harder because there was wind, and I think this, last year was a little bit on the short side. So I broke two hours last year, whereas uh, this year it was two hours and eight minutes. A few people have said that. Yeah. Will you be doing it again next year? Quite possibly, yes. It's a wonderful weekend up here and uh, thoroughly enjoyed it. Come up with your family? I've come up with three running friends who are still out there somewhere. All oh, right. <laughs> You've got to be looking for all of that. Yes, I will be. Yes, I'll collect my bag and then I shall uh, be looking for all of them. Where have you come from today? Um, Lancaster. Oh, not far then? No, I'm local. Have you done the run before? No, first one. Have first we... one for a few years, so not a good one to start with. Obviously. And will you be doing it again? I might do, actually. I think a bit more training this time. How did you find it going across? Yeah, the, the channels were difficult, yeah. going through the channels. Right. The river crossings, they were tough, but no, it's, yeah, it's a difficult one. Where have you come from today? Uh, Kendall. So it's not so far then? No, not too far for me, no. Local last. And have you done the run before? No, I haven't. First time today. And what did you think of it? Loved it. Brilliant. And what about going across the channels? Oh, that was great. I've been short, it came back up to here, so not too bad. Didn't have to swim. You managed to cope with that? Yeah, I did. Is it likely you'll be doing it again? Yes, I will, definitely. You, yeah, you enjoyed yeah. it that yeah, much? Yeah, yeah, really good half marathon. Where have you come from today? Preston. Oh, not so far then? No, not too far. And have you done the run before? Yeah, I ran last year, yeah. And how did you find it? Uh, this year was much, much harder. Much harder? Much harder. Did the headwind in the first half especially was uh, very strong. And, the, and in the last two miles as well. Right. And what about crossing the channels? How do you find that? That's great fun, isn't that? That's, that's half the fun. Right, where have you come from today? I've come from Lothal, um, near Wickton. It's Wickton Roadrunners, we came as a group. Oh, right. Is there, how many of you came down? 
Right. And how have you found the run today? Good. Enjoyed it. Did you? Have you, have you done it before? No, some of the others have, but I haven't. But will you be doing it again? Perhaps not. <laughs> how did you find crossing the estuaries? Okay, yeah. We've been warned about it, so I didn't know. You knew what to expect. Have you ever done anything like this before? No, I've done half marathons, but not nothing like this. Nothing like this. And I'm always wanting to go across more from here, so it's a good way to do it. Right, where have you come from today? Kidderminster and Worcestershire. So it's quite a way for you to travel? Yes it is, yeah. Did you travel up yesterday? Uh, yes we did, we stopped actually overnight in uh, Stoke-on-Trent, so we didn't have to come too far this morning. Right, okay, and how did you find the run? Very hard. <laughs> we're used to hillier runs, so uh, yeah. The wind was, was particularly yeah. difficult and um, I think the surface, it was almost corrugated, which made it quite tricky underfoot as well. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Nonetheless, it was very enjoyable. And the water, water crossing was quite uh, quite deep, quite wide, I understand. Had, had you been expecting that? Um, expecting, yeah, yeah, to be quite deep, but probably not as long. It's always a shock when it actually happens as well. <laughs> was it cold? Uh, not as cold as it is, as we would have imagined, but yeah. uh, it was nonetheless cold. At, at that cold, point, yeah. it, was, it was probably quite welcome. Carf oh, well, I live at Carfers. So you're a local person? Yeah, oh, well, I was. I lived in Morecambe for 20 odd years. Right? Yeah. And have you done the run before? Yeah, this is seventh time on the up track. And how did you find it today? <laughs> uh, harder. Hard? Yeah, because I'm getting older now. How old are you now? 78. And you think you're probably the oldest person running today, I'm do you? I'm sure I am. Yeah. Right, okay. How did you find crossing the, the uh, estuaries? Uh, not too bad, that. At least you cool off a bit, you see. You know. Mr Mayor, you've come down here to uh, see the finish of the race and present the prizes. What do you think of the day's events? Well, I think it's marvellous. I think they're so dedicated, all these people. Uh, when we first came down with David, who cares for the Mayor attendant, um, it was absolutely crowded. You know? And as the afternoon's gone on, we watch people, and they're all families, which is lovely, with the children and all this stuff. You know? Right, Becky, you're here at the Beach Cafe. I am. And you're working here today. How yeah. busy do you expect it to be? And... We expect it to be really busy when they come back. Yeah, they'll all come in for brews and things. And does it get hectic behind the scenes? Yeah, it does, but we're fully staffed today. How, so... many, how many staff are working here? We've today? got six today. Which we're is all more... dressed up. Oh, yeah. Of course, you're in your cowgirl. <laughs> yeah, outfits, to you? raise money, yeah. To raise money for. Oh, for cancer are you, are you care, all our tips, yeah, all, all our all tips go to cancer care today. Right, that's very good, thanks very much. <laughs> You're welcome. Right, uh, thanks very much for your patience. We have had one or two sand issues, which is probably predictable um, with the results. Uh, we're hoping we got it right now. Um, if, if not, uh, our sincerest apologies, but we're pretty sure we've got, well, we've got everyone back in, which is the major thing for today. It was a great event today. The weather was all right. What was it like on the bay? Was it all right? Bit of rain? Lovely. Uh, was it good to firm? Yeah. Yep, yep, good to firm. Uh, I'd like to introduce who's going to be handing out the prizes. The right worshipful, worshipful, I've been drinking, uh, Mayor of Lancaster, Councillor Sheila Denwood. Right, and we'll start off with ladies first, if you don't mind, gentlemen. Um, and first place in 1 hour 47 from Cumberland AC was Sarah Chowdhury. without a mother racing uh, was Rebecca Shield.
and uh, Lady Vet actually in fourth place uh, was Hazel Banks. Right, we'll move on to the gentleman. Uh, in first place, in 1 hour 32.17, John French. And in second place, uh, being split by ooh, 0.3 of a second, was Noel Hitchcock from Paul Muller. Paul Muller wants to come out close to the follow. You have the bigger one, you have the bigger one. Which one? Which one? No, no one was. That's no. Sorry. Just where you keep lying. We're not bothered. We're not, we're not, we're not bothered. Yeah. Uh, cheers. All the best. Yeah. I know about that for a park finishing as well. And the first male vet was uh, Simon Thompson. Yay! <laughs> well done, Simon. The day is nearly over. How have you found it now after all that's gone on? Um, it's been it's been really, really busy actually, but really successful. Thank you. And, and do you think you raised the amount of money that you thought you would do? I think so. We'll just have to wait and see until the sponsor money comes in of the runners and the walkers that have got sponsor money, and then we'll count up and then we'll know. And has anything gone wrong today? Um, well, the gantry's just gone down because we've run out of diesel, but never mind. <laughs> but yeah, no, apart from that, it's all gone great. Thank Everybody's you. turned up, and I think yeah. everybody's enjoyed it from there. Yeah, the yeah, really nice atmosphere. Yeah, yeah, right. it's great. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, it is. Yeah. Yeah. Relax. <laughs> it's nice to be finished. Have you had a good day? I have. It's been a tough race this time. Yeah. I've been a lot better last year. But it's a tough course, but it's enjoyable. Yeah. So we all what, was, what was the toughest bit? All of it. <laughs> Go! 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 Yay! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 